Hello, everyone, and welcome to Usatility. Today we are going to see how to download and install the Tales of Wind on PC so we can play with keyboard and mouse on a big screen. As you know, this is an Android game, and we're going to see how to install it on PC. You are watching it on screen, and you can see how it is working. Now let's do it. The first thing is to open our favorite browser, in our case Google Chrome, and you will click on the link above the description or the first comment of the video. This is the link, I show it here in case you want to see it a little bit bigger. Click on it, it will take you to this page of Bluestacks Tales of Wind. Bluestacks is the software we will use to download the game and play it on PC. It is an emulator for Android devices, such as a tablet or a mobile phone, and we can use a keyboard and mouse, use a big screen, etc. We click on the Download Tales of Wind button, and the download starts. It does not delay anything in downloading, it is a tiny file, but then it will make a later download. Here it is, Bluestacks installer, and we click on it. In Windows 10, it will have asked us for permission, we say yes, we accept. We minimize the browser to see which is the installer, here it is. We click on, install now. We can customize the installation, we can configure the directory where to install the game. If we click on, customize installation, we can choose the directory. We leave it as it is, we click on, back, and we click on, install. It will download 510 megabytes in this case. Depending on your internet connection, it will be faster or slower. Now it will proceed to the installation of the emulator. There are several steps. This step also depends on the power of your PC, it will take more or less time. I will cut, and as soon as the installation is finished, I will come back and continue with the explanation of how to install the Tales of Wind on PC. The installation is complete, now we are going to open the Bluestacks. It's the first time it will open Bluestacks, so it's going to make a series of configurations, which it's only going to do this time, the rest of the times it's not going to take that long to launch. This will get Bluestacks installed. This is the Android emulator ready to play. The next step is a must. Log in to Google Play, let's click on, sign in. Sign in, again, and it will ask us the information to log into Google Play. It is essential if we want to install the game to log in. This is a simple step, I'm going to cut it. We will introduce our email and password to our Google account, and that's it. We have introduced it, welcomes us. We have to accept the terms of use, we click, I agree. It tells us that if we want to make a backup of our device in the cloud, we say no in our case, you do what you want. Note that this device is like a mobile phone or a tablet, and it will give us the option to save a backup of our files in the cloud in case we lose it and want to recover it. We accept it, in our case, we haven't had time to accept it. Before continuing, look at the two icons he has created here, Bluestacks, Bluestacks Multi Instance, which is to launch Bluestacks. When we reboot the PC and want to start it, we hit it. Now, to install the game, we would click here. First of all, in less than a minute, I'll explain how to change the language. We click this cogwheel here, we will go to Preferences. In the drop-down menu, choose the language you want. And that s translated. Now we proceed to the installation of Tales of Wind. Let's go to Google Play and click on Install. One last step that we always have to do, which is to complete the account setup, in this case, the payment method that we are going to use if we are going to purchase things on Google Play. We are not going to buy absolutely nothing, so we are going to click on, skip, and there is no need to select anything. The installation of the Tales of Wind starts, it downloads 1.71 GB. It's quite a lot, so depending on your connection, it will take more or less time. So I'm going to cut and wait for the download to finish, so you can see how to continue with the installation. Well, it's installing, it's stuck for a moment at 87% in case it happens to you, so you know it can happen. So, it's already finished installing, and as you can see, it has now created another icon on the desktop. Here we have it, Tales of Wind, Toe, which will allow us to access the game without having to open the Bluestacks directly. When we restart the PC, we double-click there, and the game will launch. We could open the game directly from here, but I'll show you how to do that if we start Bluestacks. We click this icon and launch it. Here's the keyboard setup if you want to configure it. Let's leave it at the default, close it. It says that the game will require specific permissions to provide a suitable game environment. We have to confirm, and we have to allow access to the photos. Here are the game settings. As you can see, all the keys are highlighted here. 
you can configure the key settings yourself at any time with this keyboard icon. We will leave it as default, and we will see how the game is working correctly on PC. First of all, I'd like to tell you that there are two big screen options. This is one. To maximize, you'll have a full screen with a border. It wouldn't be a 100% full screen. If we want 100% full screen, we'll have to press F11 to enter the screen, and press F11 again to exit the full screen. That way, we will be able to play in full screen without anything from Windows bothering us, and using the keyboard and the mouse, as we are going to see right now. Playing as a guest, you can log in with Facebook, Google, or Twitter, or with Neocraft, which is the company that created it. Let's play as a guest. Depending on the power of your PC, the game will be more or less fluid, because this is an emulator and requires a lot of power. Select an area, Europe, America, Asia. Start an adventure. You guys sure know how to play it. So, here it is, the game works. As you can see, we can click with the mouse, we select here what we want. We can use the escape. Anyway, here is the game installed. Super simple. If you like the video, thumb up, give it a good like, subscribe if you like the Usatility channel and any comments you have left in the comment box, and we will respond. Thank you very much for watching the video, and see you in the next videos. Bye.